What up, G's? What up, G's? Is your boy, Prophet74, and you saw that. The intro is the Omen desktop. Uh, we're going to do a DSS upgrade. Not a DSS. Yeah, we're going to do a DSS. Beatrice Placencia. Hi. Hey, Beatrice. So today we're going to open up a computer. We're going to... Beatrice Placencia. Hi. Hey, how you doing? We're going to upgrade the hard drive. That's what we're going to do. An SSD. I misspelled that. Put DSS. SSD. I put... Ah. Lone Star. SSD. What's up? What's up, man? We're going to upgrade um, a hard drive today. Um, uh, SSD. Lone Star. What's up? What's up, Lone Star? So we're going to do some upgrading today. And if you guys want to take a look at how to upgrade your personal drive that you guys have, um, you could check it out. Uh, it's something very simple. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you step by step how to do the upgrade on the hard drive. Um, but it's going to take some time. If you guys want to stick around, it's up to you. And we could do um, some talking. Talking and walking here. Um, uh, so just stick around and see what you guys think. Um, we're going to do the upgrade of a, of a solid state hard drive. So let me just change a couple of names here and we're going to go ahead and commence this thing uh, because I think I messed up on one of the thing. It's called SSD. I put it the opposite way. My bad. It was one of those things I little mistakes happen, but we correct them as we go along. And that's what I do. Just do a couple links. And see where we're going. Jax, are you still here, Jax? Jax. I'm calling my dog because he's he's right here. He's barking at people and doing all sorts of things. So we're going to take a look at it. And we're going to start the uh, updating of the system right now. Uh, if you guys want to stick around, I'm just setting it up right now real quick. See if I could set up all this description and make sure that it's well, it's installed let me see okay I think we're good now I think we're good all right so first of all this is my beast the one I play a lot of games and I and I and I do the streaming I'm gonna give you a little insight of what I have in here first of all and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna uh, also let me put in some more lights so you guys can see I'm gonna crank up all the lights in here bring the extra lighting for you guys plug in all this extra support here and um, See if I could get it going because um, I got a lot of different lights everywhere that I need to set up so you guys can see the inside and the outside of the lights. So Lone Star, give Jax a dog treat. <laughs> Lone Star, give Jax a dog treat. Oh, why did it go twice? It's doing it twice. Are you typing it twice? Oh, that's crazy. It does it twice. So I'm saying, let me close this thing out. Oh, you know what? There's two of them on. That's why there. I, I got rid of one. That's the only problem. So today we're going to open up this piece here and we're going to upgrade the hard drive. We're going to put in this um, SSD hard drive. Um, it's a terabyte. Right now, currently, I have 512 gigs on it. So we're going to clean it up too because it is super dusty. It's been underneath my desk today. So let's see if you guys can see it. Are you guys good with the lighting or you guys need more lighting? So. Get it open here. Oh, to open it up, you got to push the button down here. There's a clank. There's a little button here. And you push down on it. And it pops out. Look all that dust we have in there. Woo! That's some, that's some dusty son of a... Let's get some lighting in here too. So you guys can see a little bit better. So right now, that's all Jack's dog hair, right? <laughs> Everything you see in there, it's all Jack's hair, you know? I'm gonna see if I could get this a little bit closer to here. There we go. Away from the cameras. Make sure that it doesn't interfere with the cameras. And so you guys can see exactly what I'm gonna be doing and lighting it up. So Lone right now, Star, it good light. All right, right now we're gonna. Oh, you know what? We're missing one main light. No wonder. There we go. That's even better. So we're gonna clean it up first. Because look at all the dust bunnies that we had underneath. Woo! Oh, Lord Jesus. 
and we need to remove oh whew. oh I should I, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it outside I'm glad I'm doing it outside I got I order a vacuum with special nozzles but it's not gonna get here on time so I want to do the upgrade today because I've been pushing it out for quite a while and it's time for to fill in some more hard drive space in there so we're gonna try to see if we could get rid of all the dust bunny Jesus got it everywhere all over me man and these are the additional hard drives I installed in here um, there's two of them in here. We're gonna take them out too because I don't want to get confused with the system In fact, let me bring it up here so you guys can see I'm gonna put this can this light out Put it out turn it off and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys that there's two hard drives in here All right, there's two different hard drives. We're gonna remove them right now because I don't want to confuse them with the system when I doing the upgrade I just like to have less of the hard drives in there and we're going to clean them up too. So there's one right here that we're doing and that's around three terabytes right there. And I got to be very careful where I'm going to put these in place because you guys see that take it out. I love these hard drives. I love these like, like how you pop them out. It's very simple to upgrade and this is a two terabyte. So I'm going to keep them in two separate places. I'm gonna do some cleaning. Somebody's already texted me that they want to play games. Jesus, it's too early. It's Friday. Uh, after this stream of me upgrading system. All right. So, Base Call's already saying when are we gonna get on uh, Battlefield? He wants to play Battlefield. It's a good game, actually. It's a really good game. So right now we opened it up. We're gonna clean it up some more. I'm just going along with the cameras here. Jeez, look at it left an imprint here of pure dust. I'm a dirty son of a gun here. So you gotta do this at least once in a while because. This could damage your very expensive machine, you know? Let me close these out now. So, here we are. This is another hard drive I have in here in place that I'm gonna also disconnect right now because I don't want it to be connected. Of course, you know, it's one of those things that I, I, I just wanna run it without the hard drives and make sure that there's nothing running. When I'm doing the upgrade, I don't want it to upgrade the wrong hard drive. So, I minimize things, you know? I don't like to take many chances. You never know. If you've been doing this for quite a while, it, it could be that one time that you could screw up everything, you know. So that's why I tend not to um, come back and make the same mistakes. So I learned from the first time and trust me, I, I, I have a lot of data installed. Now I actually loosen this up too because I'm also going to disconnect this part. Uh, but not right now because we're going to need the GPA. We're going to need the GPU. This is a 1080 Ti. I was gonna take it apart and clean it up too, but we're not gonna do that today. If you guys wanna follow up how to do your upgrade, it's gonna be simple, very simple. Uh, we're doing a Samson. So this is a Samson upgrade and the external drive, let me see if I can lift the camera up a little bit more. The hard drive, if you guys see it, it's right there. It's right here. This is the actual SSD hard drive that we're gonna be replacing. Right now, currently I have 512. We're gonna upgrade to a terabyte in here. And, um, Oh, okay, okay. All right, so we're gonna upgrade this terabyte right now. It might take some time, but we're gonna start the process at least and get it all cleaned up and everything right now. That's what I'm trying to do, clean the whole system up because, Jesus Christ. I got some new toys too, but I don't wanna show them yet. I don't wanna show the stuff out because then you guys gotta leave early. But I'm gonna do two streams tonight. One stream is, is is this, and the second stream will be the the actual gaming. We're gonna play Battlefield, uh, Battlefield Five. It's free right now. It's available for everybody to get the game. 
But if you're not interested, then wait for it because it still has a lot of glitches. If you don't have the video card, um, you need a video card. You need a good video card to run that game. Um, even the minimum, I would say a 1060 is just right in the edge right now. I mean, it's not running very well, but it does the job. All right, so we got two options to do. And I'm gonna present them right now, the two options. What we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer the terabyte into this USB. This is an option number one to do it. You can transfer and copy and clone everything through the web, or you could use a cloner. I do have a cloner hard drive, but I'm not gonna do that. I, I recommend you guys getting something like this because um, you could use this for anything else, for gaming and all sorts you wanna carry with you. It's a really good option. It's not that expensive, um, 20 or 30 bucks, you know, maybe cheaper in some places. It's a Start Deck USB to um, SSD. And we're gonna open it up first because, um, shoot, I wanna sneeze right now with all the freaking. Whew. <clears throat> Sorry, Whew, I had to sneeze, too much dust in here. I was trying not to do it in camera or near the mic, but <laughs> sorry guys. Also, I'm going to be dropping that new video on Monday. Stay tuned, guys. An instant winner on Monday. You're going to win something on Monday. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you'll be able to win a couple of things. I'm going to give out a couple of giveaways, and um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can enjoy them. And let me go ahead and open this up right now so we could go ahead and do this. So... Let me disconnect this. Okay, this is out of the way. Uh, unplug this one. Oh, I had to do the other way. Shit, I think I did the wrong way. One of them. Let's find out. Jax? Let me check on my dog, too. Oh, yeah, he's there. I got to check on my guard dog, man. He's always watching me, which is a good thing because it gives me a warning if somebody's coming over or something. Or somebody wants to uh, stalk her or some shit like that, you know? Got to make sure I get my dog in here. <laughs> so here goes. So we got it open, and this is what I'm talking about. It's it's an SSD reader. It's a USB. So we're going to use this USB to transfer the new terabyte. So right now, let me remove what I have in here, which is a, a 500 gig that I have in here. I mean, 200. this is 128 gigs. The one I'm going to install is the... Descent 323, budget build. No. Nah. No, brother, this is not a budget build. This is the one I'm actually playing on. This is the system I, 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 I use. This is the Omen. This is a 1080 Ti and all that stuff. And I do have a, a Gato card built in here, if you guys see it. It's in there. Let me see if you could tilt it. I'm just showing you guys what I'm going to do. I have full memory. It's full completely. They're all, it's 64 and 64. Come on. You know, 100. Yep, that's right. 128 for you guys out there and I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna upgrade this hard drive right now So I will be on descent later on but as soon as I finish this sucker because this is a hard built to do I'm Trying to get all the screws and everything together and um, See if I could there we go there we go All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this SSD drive first so we could put on this reader. This is a uh, 128 gigs. I, I had this lying around for quite a while. Descent 323. Cool it'll be online. Yeah. Uh base call's getting on in 10 minutes, he said. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this terabyte and it's a Samson uh 970 Evil. We're gonna put it in here. So the way it goes, it's a reader, you know. So basically you just slide it in like a little chonis, you know. And you flip it around, of course. You make sure you have the indents in, in properly. So, this is where it goes. This is where it gets a little complicated, right here. Here we go. Damn, it's not fitting in. Why isn't it fitting in? Did I get the right one? Yeah, I got the right one. Maybe I'm going to have to use a different one. But either way, this is the right one. Let me see. Make sure I have the right connections in there. Yeah, I do. Whew. It's okay. I got a backup plan. This guy's always prepared. 
I'm always prepared, brother. So what I do, if it doesn't fit on the first one, I put it on the second enclosure that I have, and I have it somewhere in here that I was using the other day. But let me see if I could get it here. Where are you, second enclosure? I, I got a couple of them that I could do. We're gonna use this hard drive reader. It's a USB, we're gonna use this one right now. It's a hard drive reader. Up uh, to what? You're gonna say to what? To a unit I have, oh, I found it. Here it is. So we're gonna have it on here. We'll put the terabyte in here. And of course, it goes in here too, but it doesn't wanna fit in properly. Maybe I got the wrong one. Mm. We're gonna fit it in. We're gonna put it in there. So we're gonna try to see if we can read the hard drive together. See if it goes on. And Samson has some great options to do. I mean, when you're upgrading your computers on Samson, if you ever upgrade your hard drive, there's a freaking way to do it. You go to the Samsung websites and you type in Samsung migration tools. Oh my God, they give you the works. They give you the awesome stuff that you, you're able to transfer all your data from one drive to another one. And simple as that. Uh, the drive that I'm going to do today might not happen right now because it's going to take a long time might not happen online to be honest with you but we're going to clean up the system right now and get it ready for the hard drive and um i'm actually going to remove the hard drive and see what if i could clean underneath the the other system too but right now i'm trying to put this sucker back in there and it's it's a pain in the ass when you're trying to play with little tiny little screws and um i mean micro screws to be honest with you because some of this stuff it's not it's not simple to do Jesus any questions out there you guys have any comments or any questions have you guys been looking at um what's coming out this year for new hardware prices on on monitors are you guys willing are you guys guys should go buy a monitor anybody's buying new monitors this Christmas or this holiday I would consider to wait to be honest with you because there's a couple of things coming out there are cheap inexpensive and they're coming out with more of the flat screens now Talking about flat screens, we're going to do another upgrade on one of my flat screens I have here. A curved flat screen that... Jesus, how the hell? Here we go. All right. So right now, we're going to remove this part right here. We're going to clean it up some more. We're going to remove all this. And the way I'm going to do it is just going to make sure I got the right hard drive because it doesn't seem like it's going to fit on this one. I might have got the other SSD, the newer one um compared to the other one so it's okay it's a matter of just returning it and get it replaced you know but for now we're gonna go ahead and remove this hard drive this um gpu and i forgot to do something important which is the screws that are holding on to the gpu there's one there we go ah, there we go this is a 1080 ti it is super dusty in there jeez this is why i recommend you guys at least opening it once in a while and clean it up i i normally will open the whole thing but today i'm not because i'm gonna get online later on i'm just gonna be on for at least a another 30 40 minutes and then i'm gonna jump on again And we're going to see if we got the right one, all right? If we got the right one, we're in business. If we got the wrong one, we're going to have to return this one and get another one. So let's see if this, this one works. And if it works, I have to find a migration tool to do it. And there, there is another thing to do to migrate it. But I need, I need a, a different socket. So let me see if this one actually fits. So this is my old one. And this is, uh, like I said, it's 512. It, it does a job. It did a great job on it. But it's time to move on. And I know a lot of people want this one probably. And I'll probably give it out as a, as a gift too for those people that need it. So let me see if the new one fits. And to be honest with you, we got a bit, we're in business. I think, yep, yeah, we're in business. So I'm going to be able to clone it completely. 
Um, it, it is going to fit in this motherboard. I wish I had a secondary because, um, geez, you know what? I'm going to clean up some more. I do have a secondary here, but this is for the wireless. Whew. Damn. And I do have an Elgato card here. You know what? I like this card, but now with the OBS, you really don't need it now these days. It's it's pretty simple to actually just get up and go without this. You know, people, uh, the GPU does all the work. So my recommendation, if, if you're going to buy a Gato card, it's only if you want to stream Xbox and PS4 and, and Nintendo Switch. Maybe you need one of these, you know. But other than that, you don't really need a, a Gato if you're going to be playing PC games, you know. So... My recommendation, highly recommend it. It's like, avoid this, you know, save your money for now. If you're not going to do PlayStation or Xbox, like I said, consoles, if you're not going to do consoles, then then skip this. That's what I would suggest. Skip this. And then maybe you want to, let me move this camera a little bit. Maybe you want to wait until you start, you know, getting more subscribers. And uh, maybe then you'll spend some money on one of these. Now, the only thing I do recommend also too if your GPU is not fit to run the game that you're going to be streaming, for example, uh, Battlefield 5 and you're running a 1060, highly recommend you getting one of these because this does all the legwork that your GPU normally would do. In fact, on the OBS settings, there's a GPU settings and then there's a hard uh, an Intel, which is um, the, the, the CPU settings. Now, if you want to, you can use the G this GPU power. It's not GPU. It's the power that this thing has. It's uh, the its own chip, that, which is a capture um, card. That this one will make will do all the legwork that this does. You know, this is a ten. Uh, this is a ten eighty Ti. So if you have a ten sixty video card, and you want to do streaming, good streaming, not cheap streaming with pixelation and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty sorry people don't want to see that stuff. You know, of course you're not gonna get too many subscribers that way. You need to have good quality and stuff. So my recommendation, if you have a ten sixty or lower or anything that you and you want a good stream, get one of these cards because, like I said. You could transfer, you could connect your computer, your, your GPU into this card to capture. So this will capture and then it will stream out to the web, you know. Now the software it has, it sucks. The Elgato software is not the best software, to be honest with you. It's one, it's, it's laggy. It's hard to work with. It's, it's difficult to edit out of it. Damn. The truck just passed by, man. Like if he's taking the whole damn neighborhood. Anyways, my recommendations: don't get a, a Gato if you have a good video card. That's about it. If you don't get a Gato, if you're gonna stream um, consoles, get a Gato. But it's it's pretty pricey. I have this one and I have the ten, the sixty S H sixty S, and the other one's pretty good too. But there's more complication on the other one than there is this one. Now on this one, I'm not going to put the GPU right now because I don't have the right sockets. It is the right correct one I purchased. I purchased the right one. This one's supposed to be the good one, but I don't have another socket to fit this one in there. And that's a problem right there. That is a problem for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another option, which uh, I normally don't do. And that is to see if I could put that one in a... In a in a different hard drive so right now i'm just putting it back right now for now until i get the right gpu but normally i'm going to show you guys where to go and i'm going to turn on the computer so you guys can see and, and what to do on on the on the system and, and it's a pretty good thing to do because i i i discovered this a while back you know people create buy software they buy the applications hold on Jax, come here Jax. Jax, there he is Good boy. Just checking on this mutt, man. All right, you're forgiving. You can sit down out there where I can see you, right? All right. So listen, the people buy applications. A cornice, a cornice, um, they buy clone, easy clone, they buy it. You don't need to purchase all this stuff. Every tool out there that, that has a hard drive that they manufacture hard drives, for example, Samsung manufactures a good hard drive, right? Samsung has a migration tool. 
Go to the website, type in Google, Samson Migration Tool, you'll find it right away. It's a great tool, easy. It tells you click here, click there, and it does all the work for you. That's all. The secondary, if you have a Western Digital, a WD, if you have a Western Digital, guess what? They have a tool too, but they teamed up with a Quarnus. A Qu I'm not seeing it right now. A Quarnus. I can't say it properly, but it's out there. They teamed up with it where they give you a little application just to clone this and transfer it to another hard drive. So if you're going to make this your primary, you go to their website, Western Digital, to make their clone. If you're going to do a Samson, you go to their stuff to get a West, um, their migration tool. So wherever you're going to make the main hard drive, you go to the main their sites, all right? Simple. Now, the bad thing about this Omen system, I wish it had another SSD slot in here. It doesn't have another SSD unless it's this one right here. And this is already taken by um, my, my, my freaking wireless card, but there is no secondary in here. And I wish they, they had another one because I would definitely put the Obtain chip in here and to get that extra memory. Damn, the dust is gonna kick me in the ass. Anyways. Damn, I don't know who's that. But anyways, if you have questions about the motherboard, the motherboard is very simple, very basic. Like I said, I'm fully on, I'm full of memory already. There's no more slots for memory. These are Corsair and these are expensive memory. I mean, they're going on the market for, I don't know how much they are, but they're, let me see if I can open one right now. It's on the other side first. Uh, oh, it's on this side. Here it goes. Here it goes. I'm gonna jack it up. So, this is a, a obtained DDR4, and I can't believe I didn't remove the plastics. Jesus, what the hell am I doing here? Now look at that. I'm gonna burn my damn thing up. Now this is the high end. Um, v, um it's the 4,000 4, 4, megahertz. You know, there's 37, 32, and so on forth, but this is a 4,000. I think they have 4,200, 42,000, uh, 4,200 now. This is a 4,000, which is not 4,000 megahertz, which is was fast during the time I purchased it. But like I say, they have better memory out there. It's getting faster. They're going to have DDR5. That's the next version of it. Right now, DDR5 is only going to be built for one system, and that system is going to be for um, uh, a lot of the video cards. They're going to start running the DDR5s and making it a little bit better. Like for example, the new video card that NVIDIA has, it, it is DDR5. Uh, these are DDR4s, the 1080s. Um, so prices are gonna double in a couple of months. They're gonna have to, I mean, unless China and America have a, a, some sort of um, contract where they're gonna have to talk about, hey, pricing on metals and, and imports and export of this kind of stuff. If not, we're gonna have you in trouble. Now, now I'd let you know, some of the stuff is made in Korea. A lot of the memory is made in Korea. So a lot of components are gonna be cheap still. Memory is pretty much one of them, but sometimes it's gonna pick up the price because of the metal or the copper and all that stuff in other countries. So you wanna make sure that if you're gonna buy the memory, maybe do it now because in about a month or so, I don't think it's going to be the same price. Look at the prices. Keep a price. Keep an eye on the price. And if you're not making up your mind about buying the memory now, you're going to be you're going to have problems. So we're going to put this memory back. Oh, I almost put it wrong. See, almost jacked up the system. Janica Gunas underscore zero zero one. Hi. Hey, how you doing, sir? Welcome to the welcome to the club. I was going to say, man. Yeah, but it, it is a club, man. And welcome uh, here. And if you see your first time, guys, I want to let you guys know I do stream a lot on YouTube. Uh, my primary channel is YouTube. It's called Late to the Show. We are here. Uh, I stream all these places, too, and I talk about systems, hard drives, and, and components, uh, gaming components, a lot more gaming components. I do a lot of, I stream a lot of games every night, pretty much. I stream every night. Uh, I try not to sometimes. I try to take some breaks here and there, but... I get a lot of components that I'm surrounded with components actually and right now and my area looks super messy. Um, I got a couple things that are coming in that I want you guys to take a look. And right now I'm just talking about how to upgrade the hard drive and to upgrade your hard drive. Like I said, if you're going to make your Samson, Samson, your primary, you go to Samson's website, Samson, you type in Google Samson migration tools, 
you'll find the Samsung's migration tool simple. I'm going to show you. I'm going to try to see if I could bring it up on the screen behind me so you guys can see how, how easy it is to do. For, for now, I'm going to put everything back because I got to wait for the right socket tool. And unfortunately, I don't have the right one here. I thought this was going to work, but unfortunately, it doesn't fit. It didn't fit in here. See this socket? It doesn't fit in here. Um, I do have one more that it might be compatible. I'm going to have to find it right now. It's in here somewhere. But if you have any questions on any upgrades or anything like that on any computers, are you are you question? Oh, I think I found one. Oh, you know what? I think we're in business. Let's find out if this one has it. Lucky I have all these freaking components lying around in hard drives and stuff, you know? Um, it's good to keep your boxes somewhere near you. I mean, when I was going to do this show right now and start, I thought I had the right stuff. But you know what? Um, I'm sorry that I didn't check the, the, the sockets that didn't fit. And I thought I was going to fit in there and I was going to make a simple and uh, cheap, simple upgrade. But unfortunately, you know, things didn't work out like they're supposed to right now. And I might come back and redo this video and, and maybe have a completion version and this one doesn't look like it's gonna fit too it's a different socket too if you guys see it look at the components I'm gonna put them right there see that little snip right there that one's not fitting in here it doesn't fit there the snips on the other side it's for the older version or for the double snip one let me show you the one that actually fits in there so you guys can see the difference between SSD drives all right and don't and don't get don't get confused when you order it. I recommend you open your sockets, open your system, and find out which one is the one that you have. And this, see how this one has a double little snitches here? Is that like little clips off? It's missing two. This one only has one. Unfor unfortunately, I don't have a system to, to fit this in there and transfer it. I would have to do a uh, uh, hard drive to hard drive, and right now, uh, I had to wait for the right component. I'm gonna have to order it I, I really thought that the sock the socks that I had were gonna fit in so this one's a little different Let me see if I could see it a little bit better if you guys can see it See that one has two of them missing and this one only has one so That's why it doesn't fit but luckily this computer is made for this one. So it is the right one I have unfortunately, I don't have the freaking right tools here to put everything back to um, to clone it because I really wanted to show you guys how to clone this stuff and how simple it is and uh, it, it doesn't take a scientist to do this and you could do it on your own even if you're not um, tech tech wise on this it's fine um, it's very simple you know you, all you have to do is is find out what ch hard drive you're gonna purchase like I said if you're gonna purchase Samsung Samsung has the migration tools if you're gonna purchase Western Digital Western Digital has the tools every hard drive out there they have these tools because they recommend people doing it and you don't want to reinstall your uh, your windows it's it's the hardest thing to do especially if you don't know your motherboard or your components or your drivers and you're not tech savvy or you don't have shit or you don't know somebody that knows this stuff you're gonna have a hard time so my recommendation is please find somebody that can help you or if you can do it yourself uh, because if you cannot find somebody that can help you or do it yourself then it's it's you can mess up things in there and, and you don't want to mess up these kind of things because these are very fragile and they're not something that you could just you know get up and go and in in the next day it's something that you're gonna you know you might have to mess it up you could mess it up that it will damage your whole os you know and you have to reinstall the os and you reinstall the drivers and you'll probably lose some of your half of your stuff in there and then you're gonna blame me for watching my show and encouraging to do it yourself <laughs> and I don't want to be part of that so in some of these cases um, people do stuff and I get called on and it's like hey I'm halfway here what do I do next well first of all you shouldn't start the stuff if you don't know anything do your research go to websites you know there's a lot of YouTube channels out there a lot of YouTube channels you can learn everything on YouTube and everything you want to learn it's on YouTube I mean welding to cloning to everything that you want to do to even auto car so I'll tell you a story I had a car that was foreign car and it it, it was gonna cost me three thousand dollars to fix it three thousand dollars to fix it uh, I ended up looking online 
found a couple of websites and found a couple of YouTube channels that that had a how to do it yourself. You know what I did? Got a couple pizzas, a couple six packs. Called my homeboys, my cousins. They came down. Had instructions, had everything ready, had a big ass TV rack here just ready to see the YouTube channels. And we did it under $300. Now, I'm not telling you, you it could happen for everybody, you know, but if you surround yourself with people and, and, and they're good friends and good family, then you'll, you'll have a successful either and anything you install, anything you have. Even if you don't have that support. At least if you have somebody that could be there for you, because if you fuck up, you don't want to be alone fucking this up and fixing it at the last minute. You know, you want to make sure that you're that you you have some sort of encouragement with somebody, you know, some moral support. It's like when you work out, it's not good working out by yourself. You know, even you even though I have to, it's hard. It's the hardest shit, you know, when you, you need somebody to motivate you and push you and say, hey, one more set, one more set. You know, you do need that extra body, man. And I don't care what people say, but I like, I'm a teamwork guy. I like teamwork. And, and we get shit done together. That's why I like to play games, man. Because it's about teamwork in all these games, you know? In fact, talking about games right now, just to let you guys know, PUBG has a special event right now, event mode. And it's going on, um, it's about VSS guns only. So if you guys are not familiar with VSS, it's a sniper rifle, nine millimeter gun. Um, it comes with a silencer and everything else is included in there. So it's a pretty neat little event mode that they have. But um, I might not play PUBG tonight. I'm just gonna go straight to to um, Battlefield probably. You know that's what pretty much what people like to see right now. And and I like it too myself. Uh, um, Battlefield is one of those things that. That I was very impressed. Oh, actually, I put this sucker backwards. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. It's right right there. Oh, we just clipped in. Oh, we got a car chase. Yep. We got a car chase in my hood. I hear the cops, man. Hell yeah. Look at that. You hear that sucker? Somebody's Lone chasing. Star, you are correct. I had to flash the BIOS and didn't know how YouTube showed me how to do. We got a we got a car chase right now. The chopper, the 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 hood chopper, the hood hood bird is over my head right now. And I hear like a bunch of cops. And this is normally when you have a car chase. This is LA for you, man. This is what happens in LA. Dang, he's close by my neighborhood too, man. I, I want to see what channel is he on, man. I wish I could go back on TV right now and check it out. So, <laughs> oh man. But Lone Star, you're right. You know, everything's on YouTube, man. Everything's on YouTube. Damn, that mother effer is coming close by. Hey, Jax. Are you still out there? Or did you bite some? Okay, you're just uh, just checking on your ass, man. Checking on my dog. Okay, keep an eye. Go keep a trucha. Trucha, go watch it. <laughs> man, that dog is something else, man. I love that freaking mutt. Damn, that guy's close by, man. Jeez. All right, so we're going to put this sucker back together right now. Until I get the... I'm going to order the sockets today and see what I'm going to do. But I wish I could show you guys the finished product right now. Unfortunately, I, I don't have the freaking right cloning devices to clone the hard drive. Or it doesn't have a secondary um, drive. It would have been nice if it had a secondary VSS to transfer. Man, I want to sneeze, man. Too much freaking, too much freaking dust in here. Anyways, uh, just to let you guys know, I, I normally, when I'm working with like high-end stuff, really high-end equipment, I, I, I static free myself. You know, I have the static bracelet. I do have the static bracelet, right? Just to let you guys know. But I'm pretty familiar with the system. I'm not touching the main components and especially that sucker because it's there's still power in here you know there's still a lot of power in that sucker even though there's no power on there's still a lot of a lot of voltage in there built in enough to give you a jolt not to kill you just to get your heart started <laughs> Whew, that dust is something else man 
Well, let me pick up this case. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to upgrade it. Wrong equipment. Wrong things. But we did something good. I wanted to open it and get it clean. And make sure that it's ready for the next gaming cycle that we're going to have. Which starts in about, what, 10, 20 minutes? Oh, freaky day. Ooh. I might switch the the water cooling system, but this one's actually I don't like this one. I'll tell you why I don't like this water cooling that it comes with built-in. Two things. It's too freaking noisy. This one's really noisy. It, it it's I thought it was gonna be something quiet, but in reality it's 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 super loud. I, I'm gonna switch it out to maybe the fan. Just switch out the fan. The fan's a cheap fan. That's why. Enough cooling on it, I doubt it. You know, it's one of those things that even the fans are cheap. They're not. They're not. They're not expensive. They're super loud. Um, I don't like them. I would honestly replace the whole thing. But because I don't have the time, I'm not gonna do it. But today, I'm just gonna open it up and talk about the components in here. Like I said. Um, recommendation gaming video card uh, Elgato Elgato this is a good card if you don't have the right equipment the only reason I have it in here is because I do a lot of VR streaming too I do I do a lot of VR and then on the console and I play a lot of console like the other day I was playing PS4 uh, when I was playing uh, Far Cry 5 I was playing it. I was transferring everything over through Elgato it gives it good quality and good streaming you know that you have but sometimes you don't you sacrifice too much of it for for time because people don't have the time and the good thing about i like about this hard drive let me show you this this is the best thing about this computer here this front of it damn if i could get it open there it is look at that look at that that is freaking awesome so i'm just gonna stick them in there no matter which way it goes because they're already they're already pre-programmed i think it's this way they're really pre-programmed and they only slide one way of course you you lock it in that will set to go it won't come out let me clean this one up first now this is a two terabyte and and, and let's see if i could get it in there yeah there we go is it in the right way i think it is yeah, there we go there we go so put it in there locks in Lock it in, and then all you have to do is close them. And then if you're ever going to travel, you can take them with you. It's freaking awesome little thing. Whew. Anyways. So, I'm going to have to call it a show today. I'm sorry I didn't get to do the actual component like I was. But, I, unfortunately, that socket, I those two sockets I have didn't fit to make the right settings. The right connection for the USB. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably get another system, another. Look at these guys. Message me when you get on. All right, give me ten minutes. I'll get on, guys. Anyways, we're gonna call it a day today. We're gonna come back and stream games on the next. So let me go plug this sucker back in the house and go start playing. And I'll be back with Battlefield and PUBG. Maybe we'll do some PUBG, some event mode. Depends on what the guys say, but I'll be on right now, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Lone Star, see you guys.